Hello, Web3 TV friends. My name is Ornella Hernandez, and I am in Hong Kong for day two of the WOW Summit. I'm here with one of the attendees, Satish, who is the founder and CEO of Kratos Innovation Labs. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and the, to share our insights and why, why we are here at Web3. And is it your first time at the WOW Summit? Second time, yeah. I spoke last year also. Okay. And how is it different or the same from last year? I think today, I think we get more quality crowd this year. I mean, the kind of connections I'm getting is way better than last year. I know people know that WOW Summit is a big hit in this part of the world, so it's good. Yeah, definitely. All right, so where are you coming from, Satish? Why are you in Hong Kong? So we are based in uh, Singapore. We've been there for the last 20 and 21 years. And my company is about eight years old. We are a blockchain and Web3 studio, I would say. We have our own platforms. I think what is unique with our company is that we are actually helping the real farmers to make more money and without confusing them with blockchain or Web3, all these jargons. Okay, so you are leveraging blockchain and crypto tech to improve the supply chain when it comes to food and spices, all right? Okay, so let's get into that a little bit more. Um, talk to me exactly how, like what your mission and your vision is. So I want to start with the statistics. There are about 500 million farmers out there that are in this category. So 87% of the farmers in the world are actually smallholder farmers. So imagine a farmer has one or two acres of land. They never had access to technology. They never had access to cheaper credit. They never had access to markets. They've been exploited with middlemen all the while. That's where we came in. So we do the traceability part on a blockchain. We tell this story to the end consumers or B2B buyers so they can buy directly from farmers. So they get more revenues out of that. That's our first, uh, what we have done. Last okay. Year. So tell me how it's going so far. Like what, um, why does, why do you need Web3? <laughs> why is this tech necessary for your mission? It's a good, very good question, right? We start with blockchain. So blockchain, we can able to do the traceability and everything, right? But in Web3, because we have got a lot of advantages of anonymity and, you know, uh, things coming out. We actually started using real world assets, black pepper, imagine black pepper or turmeric. So we are actually tokenizing black pepper. So we're buying directly from the farmers at a better price than that what they would get from a middleman, obviously. So they get about 80 to 20% more revenues. If a farmer is getting $1,000, they get about $1,200 from our network. And we buy them directly and put in a warehouse and tokenize the black pepper and turmeric. Then we create fractional asset tokens. So somebody wants to buy hundred dollars worth of tokens, they can do so. That's my Web3. And uh, we actually raise capital through liquid staking. So somebody wants to get more yield for their stable coins, they can do so in our platform. It's called Ahan. Uh, that's where we are here to tell our story. Okay, amazing. So you're tokenizing spices, in particular black pepper and turmeric. And which uh, populations are you serving? Like where are your farmers located? We're definitely, we're definitely in for developing countries. We start with India. We run some pilots in Indonesia, uh, Africa. But our market starts from South America, starting from Peru, all the way to uh, South Africa, India, China, for example, Vietnam, Southeast Asia. Those are our target markets. Okay, so if you had like superpowers, you could change anything in the world, but related to blockchain, what would it be? Like with the flick of a wrist, what would you change? <laughs> I think, see, the blockchain obviously comes with its own inherent uh, stuff, right? I think I really want to change the people who take the advantage of blockchain and misuse it. If I could really have some powers, I would tell people, you know, don't misuse the technology. Because some part of time, it should have utility and help people and not just pump and dump the tokens. So that would what I would, I would have done it yet. That's a, that's a good one, very good of you ethical of you. <laughs> All right, so since we are at the WOW Summit, I'm, I'm asking everyone that I'm talking to, to think of like a, an important memory, an important moment in their lives that I call the WOW moment, that you would tokenize as an NFT. So a memory that you would put on chain. Okay. What would that memory be for you? It could be um, something in your career, your professional life, or your personal life. Yeah, yeah. I have that answer for that. So I would obviously memorize uh, uh, my kids, the reason why we do that is when they were growing up, I couldn't spend much time. I was busy setting, setting up Center of Excellence. And I used to come home at two o'clock, they're sleeping, and then six o'clock going back to office, so it was pretty bad. That's one reason why I left corporate. 
so I can start my own company and I can be more flexible in where I work. So one memory I would likely want to put in NFT is by all the kids' photos, some videos, small videos, uh, that, that would be wonderful as an NFT. <laughs> I like that, I like that. All right, and then can you tell everyone just how to reach out to you to learn more about Kratos, where should they go? Okay, I think the platform is called Ahan. It's very easy to remember. A-H-A-N dot F-I, which is for finance, Ahan Finance. So we are a liquid staking solution for stable coins. So we give up to 12% APY. So it's easy to go to the website, look at all the details there. Amazing. And then one last thing. Where does the name Kratos come from? Is that, isn't that a Greek god? That's interesting. The reason why I named Kratos. So Kratos is the god of war or god of strength. That's one reason why we think we have sustained eight years the pandemic. The company has got a lot of strength. And instantly a lot of many people know Kratos is a sibling of Nike and uh, Victoria. Okay, one of Zeus's kids. Yeah, just kid, of course. <laughs> That's right, yes, Kratos. All right, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Satish, and enjoy the rest of the conference. All right, see you. Bye. Thanks.